Okay, so now let's go ahead and create a pie chart. <clears throat> so we have the uh, home sales uh, data, which is uh, just has different attributes as far as uh, <clears throat> certain houses go, as far as the square feet, uh, the price it was sold at, uh, the size of the home, how old. Uh, for this, for our pie chart, we're going to focus mainly on the home size. Uh, so we notice we have a, a house that's very large, houses that are large, houses that are medium, and houses that are small. <clears throat> so basically four four categories of houses. Uh, so for this, we're going to go to the graph uh, drop-down menu, and then we click on pie chart. And we're just going to do a simple pie. So we go to data. And we're focusing on home size. <clears throat> so we're going to have four, four sections. Our price is going to be broken into four different sections. And we go to appearance. And under pies, we can kind of play around with the colors a little bit. So let's see what we got. No, let's create. And these are just kind of like the default colors that pop up. We can go to custom colors and <clears throat> really hone in on certain colors that we like if we wish to do that. Brown. So, yeah, let's see if I can find a better looking brown in here. Not bad. Okay, so we click OK. So we have our <clears throat> four main colors that we're going to use. So we go to the layout now, and we want to use the. We want to make this a three dimensional pie, uh, pie chart. By default, it's a two dimensional. So we have here the, the dimensions, and we can see that two dimensional is already checked off, so we're going to click on three dimensional. And then for this, we're going to want our <clears throat> the name of each, uh, of each category inside the actual pie chart. So we have the option under name, drop down menu. <clears throat> By default, it's on the outside, so we want it on the inside. And we're going to use percentages, so we're going to want those on the inside as well. And we don't need to worry about the statistic value. We'll go ahead and just click none so we don't actually have that value. So uh, with this settings, we're going to have, when the pie chart comes up, <clears throat> we're going to have the name of our category and then alongside with the percentages. So now we have to actually make sure we have the percentages. So we go to advanced, and then we have the statistic that's going to be used. So by default, it's at frequency. So we just click the drop down menu. And change to percentage, and we click run. All right, so here's our pie chart. <clears throat> so everything's broken up. So we have a uh, very large, uh, large, medium, small, all based off of the colors we kind of chose. And you can see our our the names are in all inside its respective area, as well as the uh, percentages. And obviously, it's a 3D pie chart. It's just a real quick example of how we can <clears throat> uh, make a cool little pie charts uh, with our with our data.